YouTube I'm back with another tech unboxing today and um, now we're going to do something a little bit different from all my normal PC stuff. Today I have an unboxing for you of the Sony um, Xperia Z5 Compact. Um, I won't be doing a review of this but I may well be doing some gaming footage because this is my girlfriend's phone um, and she's really itching to play for it. And she's like why can't I open it? Why do you have to open it? It's mine but I'm doing it because I do YouTube. Um, and I fix that stuff all the time, so that's why. So um, I'm going to take you in for a closer look around this phone. Um, she really liked it because um, so many of the phones now they're so big, and some people do like the bigger phones. But the problem is when you're looking at a smaller phone like this, like a compact and the mini series, is they give it the brand and the name, say an S6 mini, but they don't give it the specs. LG do it as well as this though. This still has pretty much all the um, specs of the Z5. Um, but in a smaller package so um, if you do have smaller hands like myself or loads of other people out there you may prefer this over a phablet so anyway I'm going to go and get it unboxed and um, show you a little bit more about it so here we are in for a closer look um, and as you can see on the front it's got part of the phone um, in a white now the phone actually that you're going to see in a second it is in a graphite black um, but it's also available like I said in the white um, I think like a ready sort of pink colour and then also a yellow so there's sort of a colour for everyone um, and as for the phone it is only a 4.7 inch display um, we'll go through the measurements and stuff in a minute but here's the that side of the box and let's have a look at the back oh here we go here are all the colours um, and then we've got some of the other specs here. So Xamar RS, 4K movie recording, the truly luminous um, displays. And this is a 720p display, um, which might seem a bit, you know, a bit like not many pixels these days, but on a 4.7 inch screen and with Sony screen quality is perfect. Um, they've got high res audio as well, which is noise cancelling. It's all hooked up to go to your PlayStation um, and uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon, which I think is the 810. Um, which is a 64-bit octa-core processor. I think it's running at 2 gigs, quad-core at 2 gigs, and the quad-core at another bit. Let me just have a little look. I've got the specs in front of me here. Um, yeah, it's quad-core at 2 gigs, and then a quad-core at 1.5 gigs as well. So it's going to really help us out the battery life, which is um, coming in at 27 milli uh, 2,700 milliamps, I think. It's also a 23-megapixel camera, um, IP65 and IP868, so it's waterproof. You can use it in the bath. Um, 4.7, sorry, 4.6 inch um, uh, HD screen at 1.6 centimeters, um, and then the opt the octa core processor again, and also it's got a 32 gigabyte storage and a micro SD, which is wicked because you're really going to need that if you're doing 4K video footage. Anyway, enough about specs for a second. So a look. So first we've got the phone. What else is in the box? Oh, there appears to be a screen protector included with it so that's nice as well um i don't think this is a uh tempered glass one but that's good so we'll put that on as well in a minute it's good to have that as an extra feature what else have we got in here as well there is the charger just good a lot of them you don't see coming with the plug anymore just the cable but you've got the charger um, and then we have the micro USB cable, pretty standard. And this micro USB also supports like MHL support. You can put it on your TV. If not, you can wirelessly, you know, mirror cast it over. The spec list will take me 20 minutes to read out because that's how good phones are these days, and especially a top of the range Sony. Um, and then also some headphones as well, which look really crap. You thought they'd put something in a little bit better, but still, don't see headphones in a lot these days. Um, there's the Sony Xperia K, supports an update because um, this is running Android 5.1 Lollipop, but I'm sure they're going to upgrade to Android 6.0 at some point. Then we have some manuals, um, startup guide, important information, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Let's have a look at the phone. So here we go. Let's get the phone out and take this original plastic piece of crap off. Sorry, my light's out. I'm just going to adjust my camera up a little bit. Um, apologies, I was having some serious light issues. It was all reflecting off the screen and everything as well, so it's quite hard to see because it's black. Um, but you can see we've got the Sony logo at the front. Up top here we have the 5 megapixel camera, which I'm pretty sure is rated at 1080p. I can't guarantee you that. And then we have the 4.6 inch 720p display as well. There appears to be some light sensors. Um, and that's about it for the front, but looking quite nice. As for the sizes, it's 65 millimeters in width, 127 millimeters high, and it is a little chunky. Um, it is 8.9 millimeters, but then they're putting all the specs of the um, Z5 in this as well, so it is a compact with the power, so that's good. Anyway, now that we're around on this side, this is um, obviously a waterproof here. You've got your little tuck in, and there is there's a tiny little, if you can see. 
but you pop out here for a nano SIM card and then you can also put a micro SD card in it as well. So um, 32 gig of storage and then I'm going to put a 32 gig in there for her photos and stuff. So brilliant, absolutely uh, perfect for 4K. We've got the Xperia logo at the top there as well. Um, on the bottom here, you just have the microphone and the micro um, the micro USB slot and here we have what looks to be a camera f um, thing a camera button the power button and then I imagine that is a volume rocker and it looks actually I've just looked I think it's got dual speakers if you look down here it appears to be a speaker there and a speaker here as well um, and then round to the back see it's, they've got rid of the shine on this one it's more of a matte matte finish as well which she really liked actually when she I did, was showing her the Z3 and stuff I said well which one do you want the shiny one or the non shiny one and she went non shiny um, and then up here as well we have the LED flash with the 23 megapixel um, X, Xmor RS camera hybrid AF basically the best camera going on a phone really Sony 4k video recording um, so there we go just feels really nice um, as for weight it weighs 138 grams um, feels really nice Oh, and up top here as well, we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which uses high-res audio with digital noise cancelling. I imagine with Sony as well, this is going to have really good audio output. So, there we go. I'm sorry this video has been a little bit rushed, and I don't know too much about the 1,000 specs that it's got, but. I think she's going to be really happy with it um, and obviously like I said I'm not going to do a review but if you have any questions on me because I'm sure I'm going to be using this phone as well um, just ask me and I'll give you any feedback on it as well regarding to any issues that you're having with it. Thanks for watching.